good morning everybody i want to quickly talk through the pros and cons of having a hypermotor um yesterday right here in kuala lumpur and unfortunately some of the places got flooded uh, but today is a beautiful day no signs of rain at all and if you choose to ride through the hilly area there will be a good amount of fog the temperature will be relatively low and you will be able to enjoy the ride uh, so i'm choosing to ride to uh, hulu langat and from hulu langat i'm planning to ride to semenye the reason why i'm choosing this particular road is primarily because there will be less amount of traffic there will be less amount of cyclists through the road and you will be able to enjoy the ride and the road will be relatively empty for me to ride and talk at the same time so um, we are heading for an intersection and right after we pass through that intersection i'm planning to start through talking about the pros and the cons there are about 10 pros which i have listed down and there are about eight cons which i have listed down but keep in mind that this is purely based on my ownership experience and my usage another person's opinion might differ from what i am thinking about but here we go if this helps somebody out there uh, i'm really happy if it does uh, but let's jump right into it first thing is that it's a brilliant head turner it's an attention grabber this one turns head better than any other ducati which is on the road um, so if there is a bunch of ducati which is riding through the road and if you are on a hyper motard all eyes will be on you that's number one um, the next thing is that it's a perfect hooligan bike um, if there is some amount of hooliganism inside you and there is a tendency for you to bring it out there uh, this is the perfect motorcycle for you uh oh seems like the guy is slowing down uh, oh um, because of the rain it seems like a tree has fallen down maybe some of the good samaritans and maybe some of the public officials are here to help control the traffic and clean out the road and god bless them and uh, right after we pass through this uh how um, i think i can free to talk about it. so we stopped at this is a whole the bike um the third thing which i want to talk about is that this bike will never gets tired of the wheels and the stoppies no matter how many times you want to do this is there's a wheel control on this motor there's a reason why there's a wheel control on this motorcycle because it cannot stop doing the wheelies so if you are a person who is into wheelies and stoppies and burnouts and everything this is the perfect motorcycle for you there is nothing out there which is better than this one the fourth thing which i want to talk about as the process that it has got excellent brakes it got rubber brakes on the front and the rear it got four piston calipers in the front and uh, two piston calipers at the rear and uh, it's an absolutely good brake and it stops the vehicle no matter how are you are going the fifth thing which i want to talk about is that it has got an upright supermoto style riding position on this one so if you are a person who prefers upright riding position you will definitely love this motorcycle the sixth thing which i want to talk about is that it got really big wide handlebars and i feel that this wide handlebars will help you get more confidence on this motorcycle when you are going through the corners or when you are carving the canyons just like what i'm doing today the seventh thing which i want to talk about is that there is more torque on this motorcycle than any other motorcycle of its class out there so the torque on this motorcycle is throughout the rev range and 80% of the torque is readily available from about 3200 rpm so you don't have to worry about changing your gears and what not but if you are into it you got a quick shifter definitely enjoy using that torque on this particular motorcycle than anything which is out there eighth one is a little personal this was my medicine for my midlife crisis there is some amount of will gain some inside you and there is an inner child which is struggling to get out this is that motorcycle which will make you have all of that this will be your medicine for your midlife crisis this will bring out the inner child in you it is 
that motorcycle which you can have the most fun on i'm a hyper modern fan maybe my opinion is influenced by the usage of hyper modern the cons which i want to talk about is that there is no fuel gauge on this motorcycle so when the reserve lights comes on then he can probably ride about 30 kilometers or so right that's the maximum which you can ride the second cons on this motorcycle is that it's got a very hard seat it's not ideal for a ride at a stretch for more than 100 kilometers after 100 kilometers you have to brake and relax your butt and then try it out forward there is no wind protection on this motorcycle that is the third cons so you cannot use it for sport touring or adventure riding that's not what this motorcycle is meant for but if you are a person who want to do that occasional thing uh, if you are riding above 170 kilometers an hour the wind buffeting on this one is too much that is the fourth one um, it's not a motorcycle for vertically challenged riders the standard seat height on this one is, is 870 we talked about it's not for vertically challenged riders the gear change on this motorcycle there are people i have heard that complaining about there is a slipping of gear or a false interval between fourth and fifth if you're planning to change the gear you have to be very confident that you are going to change the gear you should not be half minded if you have decided that you are going to change the gear make sure that your foot movement absolutely coincide with your decision of changing the gear when i have changed the gear a little reluctantly and i have hit false motor but that's completely my fault i probably did not put enough pressure on the lever so there is no false controls i have heard people talking about the bad ratios i always make sure that i ride this motorcycle every week two weeks or three weeks but if you are not so frequent rider you tend to ride it maybe once in a month or something like that maybe you tend to have battery issues on this motorcycle the last one which i want to talk about is that the mods on this motorcycle modifications on this motorcycle and the service on this motorcycle it's a little expensive than the japanese brands it is definitely expensive than the ktms um, but if you're going to own a ducati you got to keep some kind of money aside for all of this is absolutely important so don't be stingy about that can i use ducati hypermotor as my daily rider yes you can definitely use ducati hypermotor as your daily rider absolutely no problem the upright riding position and the wide handlebars helps with that the only thing is that if you're going to stop through the traffic signals quite often and you're stopping and the traffic signals is quite long you may feel a little bit of heat coming from under your seat that's primarily because hypermotor has got a v-twin engine and one of the cylinder head is directly under your seat but if you are on the move there is absolutely no problem the radiator does an exceptionally good job with dissipating the heat so only if you are stationary you will feel a little bit of heat coming from under your seat and that's absolutely okay i have never seen these many cars on this road at this point of time definitely something is happening oh there's a guy who is asking me to slow down um oh yeah he's telling me there is shooting going on so slow down so let's go and check out what is happening ahead uh, this is one stretch of the road where there is good amount of fog anyway we have to slow down because there is people in front oh he's right there is a bunch of people in the front there's a bunch of cars in there they have a bunch of equipments along with them i never knew that these many people and equipments were required to do a shooting this is the first time i'm witnessing a shooting let alone be on this part of this road um, so this is one stretch of the road which has good amount of fog if they have not been there right through this part of the road would have been even better but it is okay no complaints whatsoever uh, i'm not going to go far i did not have a mud guard at the back and if i'm going to ride through a puddle or a water it's going to splash me all over my jacket my helmet all will be dirty so those are the few things which i want to talk about of the pros and the cons if you have any questions related to the ownership of hypermotor please feel to ask me hopefully this video will help out somebody out there as always everybody thank you for watching